What's up guys, my name is Jerry and today's video is going to be on Kenny Lofton Jr. And we're going to be talking about how he's the most intriguing player in the 2022 Summer League. And we're going to jump right into the video. Before we break down the game of Kenny Lofton Jr., let's first establish who he is. Kenny Lofton Jr. started playing basketball in Port Arthur, Texas, where he attended Memorial High School. He then went on to play collegiate basketball basketball at Louisiana Tech where he played two seasons of D1 basketball and after his sophomore season he decided to declare for the NBA draft where he went undrafted but he was able to work out a deal with the Memphis Grizzlies he's on a two-way contract meaning that he is affiliated with both the Memphis Grizzlies and their G League team the Memphis Hustle so he can get called up to play for the Memphis Grizzlies at any given moment and now that we've established his kind of like his journey and who he is now we can get to the fun part and break down the game of Kenny Lofton Jr. Kenny Lofton Jr. had a pretty solid collegiate career his freshman season he went on to average 12 points per game to go along with seven rebounds and then in his sophomore season he decided to take things to the next level by averaging a double double he put up 17 points per game to go along with 11 rebounds now, when I look at Kenny Lofton Jr. as a basketball player, the first thing I notice is his incredible size and his dominant physical nature. He stands at 6'7", 275 pounds, and he knows how to use every inch of his height while also being able to use every ounce of his weight. And I think this is what makes him so dangerous as a basketball player. And I think on any level of basketball, he's going to be a man matchup nightmare you try to throw a smaller quicker defender on Kenny Lofton Jr. he's going to be able to take that player right to the post put them under the basket for an easy layup and then also the opposing team might want to put a shot blocker or a seven footer on Kenny Lofton Jr. this is where his athleticism comes into play he has a quick enough first step to get past shot blockers and seven footers and he can get to the rim for a layup and you got to love this about his game nine times out of ten when he goes when he is going up against those shot blockers and those seven footers he's still going to be the stronger player in those matchups and he have the advantage in the low post so i think that's something kenny lofton jr has going for himself it's going to be very hard for opposing defenses to guard him head up and then also he's going to create a lot of mismatch opportunities for the memphis hustle and the memphis grizzlies now we look at the best part of his game and i think it's by far his fundamentals that he has in the post and you guys will see it in the highlights he has every move in his post bag and i like his drop step his drop step is very ferocious he creates a lot of a lot of space off of it and then also he's nimble and agile enough to have the post span till his bag and he's very great at finishing around the rim he can reverse finish with both hands and then also he has great footwork he has the up and under to his bag and then he has a soft touch as he can finish with the post hook so he has all the post moves you can think of and i don't think that's what makes him a great post player i think what makes him a great post player is the feel that he has for the game and we look at some of the best post players in nba history from shaquille o'neal hakeem olajuwon tim duncan all those guys knew what was going on on the court and i see that in kenny lofton he played in the post so much in college and as i was watching him i noticed like he has some great awareness he knows what's going on at all times he knows when to speed up he knows when to slow it down and he knows when to pass and you gotta love when you have a guy that plays in the post a lot and he has the ball in his hands a lot you gotta know you gotta love that you can trust his decision making so that's what i take away the most from his post game is not him being able to do all the moves and score out of the post but just having that feel for the game and the awareness to know what's going on i think that's what separates kenny lofton Jr. from other post um, post scores in the country and then his offensive game just doesn't stop there he's not only effective in the post he's also pretty good in the pick and roll as a screener with his big frame and his bo big body he sets some pretty effective screens and then also 
as a roller, he's pretty effective and he's pretty skilled. We all know he's great at finishing inside the paint. He can finish with brute strength or he can finish with finesse. And then also he's great at decision making as a screener as well. He can catch that ball and make the correct play, make one more pass and get the hockey assist. So he's effective in that role. And then also another, another thing I love about him is that, excuse me, he has a great motor. Like and it shows on his offensive rebounding. He's a great rebounder. Whenever he gets, whenever he misses a layup or misses something around the rim, he follow his shot. He gets the put back dunk. He tips it back in. Sometimes he might bring it down and lay it back up. And it just really pays off for him. He averaged 11 rebounds his sophomore year. And a lot of them was offensive board. So he's pretty solid on the offensive side of the ball. And not only do I think Kenny Lawton has the skill set to be successful in the NBA, but I also think he has the mindset and I think he has the it factor. Now, when I say Kenny Lofton Jr. has the it factor, what I mean by that is that he loves the big moments. The brighter that the lights shine, the better Kenny Lofton Jr. plays. And I want to score ended up being 83-81. And Kenny Lofton was one of the bigger reasons why they won. Now, he finished the game with 16 points, but 15 of them came in the second half. So he helped them rally along and gave them that boost to bring home that gold medal. And I just want to put into perspective of how dominant he can be sometimes. France had one of the best draft prospects on their team and Victor Wayman Yama. I hope I said his name correctly, but he stands at 7'4", and there was multiple times where Kenny Lofton Jr. just went at him and used his brute strength and just pit him under the basket and got a layup, and I, Kenny Lofton Jr. just showed that he has that dog in him, and then he also showed that dog recently in the Summer League game against Chet Holmgren, who stands at 7'1", and Chet was having a lot of buzz after his after his um, summer league debut, and I think Kenny Lofton Jr. used that as inspiration. He also, he went at Chet Holmgren also in his summer league game, put him under the basket a couple of times. And I think this is why Kenny Lofton Jr. is gonna fit in perfectly with the Memphis Grizzlies. We know the culture of the Grizzlies. They love players who have that dog in them. And I think Kenny Lofton Jr. definitely has that. But I really like the potential. I like his skill set. I like his attitude and I like his worth ethic. And even John Morant likes him. So um, that's really going to be it for this video. I just want to talk about Kenny Lofton Jr. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment down below what you think about the big fella, and then subscribe. Subscribe for more weekly content. We do this all the time, man. And that's curtains.